Hello everybody, welcome back to Cheap Pass episode 23. Uh, we're going to be doing the Grand Prix Hoda, the US Grand Prix I guess is still considered, even though it's like the third one. Uh, we are going to be going a medium, medium, hard compound strategy for Porsche. We're going to do a soft, medium, hard strategy for Polo. Hopefully we can get something to work here. We were very slow in the sprint, so hopefully we can have a better Grand Prix. So let's go on into that and hope we don't suck. We're not far off now here in Austin as the drivers ready themselves for this 56 lap race. And here's George Russell settling in for the race. 18th is really going to put pressure on the team to have a perfect race. Feels like too much to ask. But there's no more time left. We've got a race on our hands. Here we go. It's the United States Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. Right, so we got Alonso on pole, which is interesting. And yeah, we're not going to push um, with, I don't think really anybody here. Um, maybe Polo might be worthwhile doing that. Uh, yeah, let's just put him on aggressive here and let's just see what happens. We'll just, uh, gonna be passenger here. See what's going on. Alright, for sure he needs to pick it up. So we're gonna put him on deploy. Eris battle assist. I wish you could just leave that on. All right, Leclerc is up in the lead now, so he is uh, looking good now to kind of make a rebound to get up there in the top three again, or top two. Looks like George Russell's on the inside of Alex Blow here. Blow is actually going to try to make it on the outside of Porsche. We're going to put Blow back on standard. We need Porsche to start catching up here, but I don't want to have him push on the tires because I feel like it goes against our strategy. Uh, we're actually even overheating a little bit on Flo's tires without even pushing them, so it's like the soft compound tires. We cannot overheat. All right, DRS is enabled. We have Porsche pushing. Hopefully, we can use the overtake here to not keep Russell behind us, but he was in a position to stay with Russell when he gets by us. Waiting for Pelot's tires to not be hot. There we go. Standard. Alright, what's everyone doing on their tires? Okay, so everyone ahead of us is on mediums, just like for share. I wonder if we just put them on aggressive for like two laps. Is he gonna immediately overheat the tires? Let's put them on standard. want him to hang on but he's probably not going to do so because we suck nope russell is gone all right so we're pulling Polo along with Porsche. um we're gonna have Porsche. Don't fight teammate. And the second Polo gets by. Have him go deploy. And that was horrific. That was a horrific letting by your teammate. It was awful. I was like, okay, I'm going to completely sacrifice my, my speed here. That was ridiculous. Wow. I can't believe we did that.
All right, Porsche is now the last car on track. Losing quite heavily, so we're going to put him on overtake to make sure he can get back up with Piastri, but he's not going to do so. So we're going to go a little eight times speed here. This below is turning up his tires even when he is on neutral. Interesting. And we're going to have him top up now. We're going to have... Man, even Porsche is doing it. All right, so we're in DRS with below. Driving our tires there a little bit. And we're catching up to George Russell, which is interesting. George is not doing quick work on Sonoda and Joe. on neutral here. Alright, so a bit of a DRS train situation at the moment. In that case, we're just going to have blow harvest for a handful of laps. just like all by himself here. It's crazy. I'm just so shocked by that. Alright, now we're gonna go neutral. We're gonna jump on board here with... I was just gonna get overtaken by Piastri. Catching Joe, but like we need. Right. Okay, good job. Now pick up your pace. Yeah, copy that. to neutral for share we're gonna go neutral here and then we're gonna go standard below as below enters the pits how's poor share doing with zrs i need to do a little pop up here do aggressive couple corners there with the tires hopefully maintain that that gap all right so we need to go in neutral now We're going to go aggressive on the tires with Polo just to get the temperature in them. Alright, there you go. Alright, 
poor Cher. We're sitting in a decent spot with our tires and stuff, so we're just gonna fast forward here. Close in 18th. I'm still sticking with Piastri here, so hopefully we can keep uh, keep at it. Oh, VSC. Where is Porsche? Porsche is right there. All right, so we're gonna pit Porsche onto the medium tires right now. That blow can't really do anything, but we're gonna use this opportunity to harvest and actually save some tires. Conserve, conserve, harvest. And make sure I pit that he's gonna pit for medium, not mediums. Yeah, he's gonna pit for mediums right now. Is that Russell? Oh, that's Russell right ahead of us. We've got a yellow flag here. I don't think I've ever seen somebody crash there, like in any series I've ever watched. I guess, I guess Alex Bowman and AJ Allmendinger in NASCAR, but that's about it. Oh, hopefully that's beneficial to us. I think it's beneficial for uh Polo, but I think it works out for poor Cher. And we missed the gun. Standard. Balance. Standard. Standard. And then we're gonna go deploy. And we're gonna leave poor Cher on neutral. We're gonna ride with Polo here. Just for a second, let's see if we can get up to, uh, Mr. Piastri. Alright, while we're sitting here... Go. Oops, didn't mean to do that. See what's going on. All right, let's go. A little. Ooh, this is, Stroll has an issue, but Stroll's way ahead of us. Doesn't matter. Um. All right, Polo is getting close. We're going to put both these guys on neutral because we're getting really, really close on our energy here. All right, where is Porsche? Porsche is right here. Okay, we're going to... We're just going to fast forward through this. We're just going to try to get as far as we can in this race. Polo seems to be falling off a little bit here. Not good. Albon ran wide. We got Polo has gotten overtaken by Porsche. Joe gets by Polo. Yeah, Polo's just kind of on his own deal here. He kind of got screwed by that VSC. We were able to kind of equalize with uh, Porsche. And Polo's pit stop should be coming up pretty soon. Alright. 
should tell him to pit at the end of this lap. Correct? No. He's doing the thing where it's not telling me to pit again. It is doing the exact same thing I just mentioned. Alright. Flo's coming in the end of this lap. We're gonna try to catch him right when he gets to about there. I'm on to standard. There is a... Oh, I thought that was Polo for some reason. Right, we're gonna have more share deploy. Three second pit stop, not good. Uh, we're gonna ignore. Yeah, we're gonna pit. Pit for hard. Once I see those hit a nice little white temperature, good boy. Right, we're gonna keep an eye on the DRS here for uh, our ERS or or share. We're actually gonna hit neutral right before he goes in. Hopefully that's saved. All right, two point eight seconds. Alright, neutral. I'm gonna go aggressive, just try to get these tires heated up. Uh, I need to put Mr. Polo on standard. And we're gonna put him on deploy. And we're gonna put you on Mr. Top up here. We're gonna actually see who Polo is battling with. Polo got DRS off somebody. Might be one of the cars that just lapped him. Alright, let's... Alright, we're putting Porsche on neutral here. Share gets by Sonoda, but we get blue flags, so we basically invite Sonoda to get right back to us. Not really. Um, Polo is in the DRS of somebody. Yeah, we're gonna have Mr. Polo sit and top up for a minute here, and then we're gonna jump on board with him for the final couple laps. See if we can slingshot them by Captain America. Oh, is, uh, Polo is right in the back of, uh, Polo. Or, Polo is right in the back of Porsche. Interesting. Alright. How quickly is it going to take us to just burn these tires off? Overheat these tires, I should say. Okay, so that's the limit. 120. We have Porsche to deploy now. Are we going to catch up at all? I don't think so. They're actually losing time to Sergeant. Blow's actually ahead now. All right, well, we're gonna put the blow on deploy. We're actually gonna put our share on light on the tires just to sit here. We're actually gonna conserve his gas. We've gotta conserve gas. We're share conserve just to get the temperatures down. See if we can have him sit behind. Be like a sneaky sub. All right, is, yeah. Below is catching. We're gonna go aggressive. Now we're gonna keep him on neutral. We're gonna put him on neutral as well. Alright, balanced. I think we're at a point where we can put him on balance as well. 
All right, so we're five tenths behind Sergeant. So we can jump on board right now. Blow. Hopefully we don't DRS train this too much. What's that for? Kill flag for something. Broke on. Alright. Oh, are you kidding me? I think that's going to hurt both of them, too. I have them go conserve, conserve, harvest. Don't fight teammate. Oh, he's behind us. I'm, I don't know why I'm, like, not registering half the stuff that's happening. Lima neutral. We're going to put poor share onto deploy. Maybe I'm gonna go light. We can get those temperatures down. I guess we gotta harvest as well. Okay. We're just gonna sit here. Good, but not balanced. So we're going to have him harvest just to save some time for ERS here. We're actually going to put him on deploy now, I guess. Now we're going to put for sure on deploy. Aggressive. We're on aggressive as well. We're going to just hope that we can do something here. Unfortunate blue flag situation maybe for first for sergeant. There you go. Yep. We're going to gap him barely. Is he going to get the arrest on the straightaway? Oh, good for Alonzo. And Plo is too far behind, I believe. We're going to roll across the lines here, and we're going to finish 16th and 18th. Well, that was a truly awful day at the office for the Haas driver. 
You know, I don't think many would have expected to see them finishing outside the top 10. They'll be aiming much higher than that, I assure you. And the talented veteran rounds off another great drive, adding to his impressive F1 podium tally. What a great way to take their third win this year. They've definitely found their form. All right, so a good showing here for Leclerc in the championship. Alonso finishes on top, 26 whole points. It was good for him. Leclerc signs around at the podium. Uh, Leclerc finished ahead of Verstappen in both the Sprint and the Grand Prix, so he's going to gain a decent haul of points on Verstappen. Uh, Perez is behind, so Perez, I think, overall is just kind of even with Verstappen. Uh, Lando gets a point, which is not good. That means that we are looking at being, I think... Yeah, we're going to drop down one more position in the constructors. Your driver's standings. Leclerc gains uh, nine whole points on Verstappen. Uh, he is now 38 points behind. Still a lot of points with as few as many races as we have left. Perez moves down. Alonso moves up with his uh, big points haul from the weekend. And if we look down here, uh, Norris is now tied with Albon, but that moves uh, McLaren ahead of Haas. Ferrari are almost within 100 points of Red Bull. Uh, still too far to realistically be in contention, but still mathematically in contention. Uh, McLaren are now ahead of us, as mentioned before. Uh, so we are now eighth in the constructors. All right, so another race down. Uh, just kind of counting the races until we get to the end of the season. Yeah, just lacking pace. Just that lack of development throughout the year. Um, that'll be something I look at for the next season. Uh, just making sure we maybe have a little bit extra to use for stuff outside of manufacturing yeah we uh basically knew what we were getting into with how the sprint went so yeah just trying our best to kind of keep our fingers crossed that uh, maybe we can get a point or two to get up and you know get ahead of the williams or the mclaren uh, but i think we're gonna need a crazy wet dry craziness to even have that be a, a possibility so hope you all enjoyed that you can see how little budget we have left for aerodynamics and stuff yeah, we'll uh, be out in Mexico next weekend, which I, is not a sprint race. Uh, so we will just be doing one Grand Prix next weekend. And yeah, hope you all enjoyed that. Have a good rest of your week and peace.